An easy breakfast is one that can get itself ready while you are getting ready in the morning. This egg souffle needs only a couple of ingredients, a couple of ramekins, and you are set and ready for a light, healthy breakfast. So if you've made one before, then let me know how I did. And if you haven't, check out the full recipe down below. Let's get on with it and get that oven hot at 375 Fahrenheit and go ahead and separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. We're gonna work with those separately. The yolks will have all that good stuff added to it. So our cheese, a bit of green onions, salt and pepper. Of course, you can have your own set of ingredients, toppings for your souffle, whatever you're feeling like in the morning. We're gonna whisk that all up. And now let's take a look at the egg whites. We want to whisk these all up until you get nice soft peaks. You can whisk it by hand. You can take that on as a personal challenge, but I'm going to use an electric sand mixer. You can also use an electric frother or even a hand mixer. Honestly, whatever floats your boat as long as you get this texture at the very end. Start adding in the whites to the yolks and then fold the mixture to combine. The color, once everything is well combined, should look a bit like this. Now prepare the ramekins by melting some butter in them. About a teaspoon should be enough and then brush that around. Huh. Then finally grate some parmesan cheese and this is going to create a layer of protection basically so that the egg does not get stuck while baking in those ramekins and will allow that souffle to rise easily. There are other variations for a souffle with egg that uses a quick bechamel sauce to get a, a very nice texture. But the idea of this recipe is to make it a bit simpler, a bit more approachable and to make it with just eggs. Okay, ramekins are ready. Now pour in the egg mixture into those ramekins and fill it about three quarters of the way. Place these all in the oven. I have to put them all in a baking sheet so it's easy to like take it out and we're not fumbling with the hot ramekin. We want to bake these for 12 to 18 minutes and once the eggs have risen kind of like this and have a bit of color on the top, you should be able to take these out. I personally don't like my eggs to be too well done, but you can use your best judgment. You want to serve these right away since it takes just over a minute or so for that souffle to start to deflate. Best part is you can make these ahead of time and then once cooled down completely, easily scoop these all out and you have the perfect egg patty ready for a breakfast sandwich. Hit subscribe for more tips and tricks and if you enjoyed this cheesy egg souffle recipe, then I bet you love my fluffy French omelette. See ya.